In 2022, the Live Golf Invitational Series backed by the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia was introduced to the golfing world with the staging of eight 54-hole events. Despite the disagreement, the strong financially backed series became established because it attracted some of the top golfers, including Dustin Johnson, Phil Mickelson, Bryson DeChambeau, and Brooks Kepka. So the big question on the mind of sports fans is, who is next in line from the PGA to move to the rival Live Golf? In this video, we will look at nine potential players in 2023 who are in line to make the big switch. Number 9. Sebastian Munoz Munoz, age 29, has been a Colombian professional golfer since 2015, who also played collegiate golf at the University of North Texas. On September 22, 2019, Munoz won his first PGA Tour tournament, winning the Sanderson Farms Championship in Jackson, Mississippi. Munoz won in a playoff over Im Sung Jae. In September 2022, Munoz was selected for the international team in the 2022 President's Cup through the captain's pick. He received notoriety after defeating the world number one Scotty Scheffler. Munoz delivered three birdies, one shot under par, and an eagle, two shots under par, to beat the American 2-1. Munoz won the applause of those attending the Cup in Charlotte, North Carolina. Munoz is the kind of budding talent that Live Golf is looking to snatch from their rifle. Number 8. Victor Hovland Victor Hovland's a Norwegian golfer who became the first countryman to win a PGA Tour event at the 2020 Puerto Rico Open. He subsequently won the two other PGA tournaments, tied for fourth at the Open Championship in 2022, and has ranked 11th in the world. Part of the advantages of Live Golf over the PGA is the lighter schedule of 14 events, which will allow players to be around their families and reduce travel while making more money. In an interview, the Norwegian golfer accepted that it would be hard to fulfill his duties to compete in all the prestigious events during the 2020 season. He stated, Now I might do that in a certain year, but I think being essentially forced to do so is not how I would like to have my career look in the future. Yes, Hovland feels that players must not be forced to compete in up to 25 events annually. He wants to have freedom and appreciates Live for that freedom. There's no news of him joining the Saudi back circuit, but these comments indicate that he might be leaning in a certain direction, I might say. Number 7 is Patrick Cantley. Patrick Cantley is an American golfer currently ranked number 5 and has won 8 PGA Tour events. In 2022, during the inaugural season of Live Golf, he stated that he was a curious observer that stoked the fire over a possible move to the mega money enterprise. But as of now, he has dismissed claims that he could turn his back on the PGA Tour to become the latest marquee signing for the breakaway circuit. He stated, I think it's because I haven't been too vocal one way or the other. So I think that's probably where it is. Guys, for the most part, seem like they're pretty polarized on the issue. And I view it as it's been a competition for top talents like any other business. But I have no plans to do that as of now, which has been my stance for, you know, basically since the whole time. So what exactly does as of now mean? The next month, the next two months, or another season. Cantley's playing it right by holding his cards close to his chest. Who knows what he'll play? Smart guy. Number six, Xander Shoffley. Xander Shoffley is an American golfer who has won seven PGA Tour events, ranked sixth in the world, and has finished second in a major competition. Like his Ryder Cup partner, there are rumors on Xander about a potential move to live golf. Speaking on the No Laying Up podcast, Xander stated, I pretty much just told everyone what I'm going to tell you. I haven't talked to anybody. I was pretty much minding my own business in Vegas, and this whole thing blew up. Why it blew up or how it blew up, honestly, I have no idea. But probably similar to the first time around. Just random rumors that I guess catch the wind and just blow up in your face. You know what I mean? He continued, The rumor mill is definitely exciting. It's fun. Well, not for me, but for everyone else surrounding golf. It brings attention and eyeballs to our game, which I guess you can look at either half empty or half full, so that's a good thing. It is what it is. I try really hard not to misspeak, especially when I'm talking to the media. For me to declare something outright, like you said, everyone and their mother wants to go over and play not just this tour over here, but some different tour. I can't just say like, oh, for sure, I'm staying on this tour. So, let's translate this. Xander's denying the rumor without fully denying the rumor. Got it. The fact that there was no complete shutdown means he's at least thinking about it and increases the chance of a move if more players keep leaving. Number 5. Jason Day Jason Day's won 12 PGA Tour victories, including the 2015 PGA Championship. Unlike Cameron Smith, Mark Leishman, and Adam Scott, Jason Day is an Aussie whose name has been kept quiet on the live front despite Norman's desire to create a star-studded team of natives. However, he broke his silence in December 2022 by stating to the Palm Beach Post, I definitely would say no. I wouldn't go as of now. Who knows in a year's time, you might think differently. I don't blame some of the guys for going because there's quite a lot of money these guys are earning. I understand it. 
For me, it just depends on how you feel about major championships, and I know that's all up in the air right now, if they're going to play or not. And they don't have world ranking points out there. It's disappointing that there's a divide on both sides. Sounds like Jason's simply watching how things will play out this season, but may be swayed to jump ship in time. In the words of Vin Diesel, man has got nothing but time. Number 4. Mito Pereira Guillermo Mito Pereira Hinky is a Chilean professional golfer who rose to notoriety in 2022 after having a three-shot lead on top of the leaderboard heading into the final day of the PGA Championship. However, Mito struggled on day three and finished third overall. The South American star hasn't yet made the switch, but now looks likely to sign for Live ahead of its revamped 2023 season. The Chilean was rumored to join Abraham Anser and Joaquin Neiman in the series all summer, but opted to stay on the PGA Tour and play the President's Cup. Now the rumor mill during the rounds again suggests that Pereira will join Liv after being spotted alongside a host of its players at Sergio Garcia's Charity Day. It supports a report from the UK claiming Pereira had already agreed to join Liv back in September. It remains to be seen whether Mito will sign the dotted line, but it seems written in the stars. Number 3. Jonathan Vegas Jonathan Vegas is a Venezuelan professional golfer who plays on the PGA Tour and is a two-time Olympian. On January 23, 2011, Vegas won the Bob Hope Classic, making history as the first time Venezuelan to win a PGA event. Remarkably, it was Vegas' fifth overall start on the PGA Tour and the second as a tour player. In the following years, Vegas suffered injuries, some near wins, and collapses. However, in 2016, he earned a second PGA Tour win at the RBC Canadian Open. In 2017, the man from Venezuela defended his crown at the RBC which made him jump to number 35 in the rankings. In January 2023, Jonathan Vegas is reportedly one of four players to have been granted a release to play the Saudi International Open. It might be his first step toward playing live golf. If he indeed jumps ship and wins big, then Jonathan could really make enough to live large in his hometown of Houston and in keeping with his last name, Vegas. Number 2. Cameron Champ Champ may not have the career titles as players currently on the live golf circuit, but he could bring the excitement factor with his explosive long game. The 27-year-old was ranked first in driving distance in 2022, and he topped the club head speed department. Live still trying to grow its fan base and attract new faces to its screens, and showing highlight reels of Champ's 300-yard-plus drives at each event could help to increase excitement and convince people to buy tickets. Cameron, like Jonathan Vegas, is one of the four players that asked for a release to play the Saudi Open. Is it a precursor to dropping bombs on the fair on the live Tour? Quite likely. And number one, Cameron Young. Cameron Young's a budding star in golf after winning the Rookie of the Year because he finished second at the Open and third at the PGA in 2022. Yes, he is just the talent Live Golf is looking to recruit. The feeling's apparently mutual. In August 2022, he admitted that he was very interested in Live Golf, but has decided to remain with the PGA Tour. He stated, frankly, I've decided to stay. It's a really difficult situation because it's not anything that anyone really wanted to happen. I think it wasn't meant to be this hostile between the two. Young's the third of four players on this list that requested to play in the Saudi Open. Open, getting a young player like that, no pun intended, is just what the doctor ordered for Live Golf to go to the next level. So who do you think will be the next player to join Live Golf? And do you think the two tours will settle their differences soon? Let me know in the comments section. Smash the like button and subscribe for more premium sports-related content. Until next time.